This video was commissioned by my Gold Fluffbud patron, Jonathan Chapa. Do you want to commission your own video? Then become a Gold Patron today. Howdy Fluffbuds, it's me, Fallen Wild Boy and Cortez Cult, and today I am back with another Patreon commission. As requested by one of my Gold Fluffbud patrons, I am going to be reacting to a specific video on the internet, and it is called... MLP G5 Animatic Confrontation. Despite me being a massive G5 enthusiast and passionate fan, surprisingly, I have never watched these. This video in particular was created by YouTuber Robin Jax, and apparently this one was released nearly two years ago. Concerning that this is only a animatic, there's obviously going to be no colorful flashy visuals anywhere. It's gonna be like taking place in like a more storyboard format, which I have no problem about, and I'm equally excited to see what this video is all about. So how's about we get going? From the timeline, it seems that we've got a good four minutes of this video. So oh, what can we find out? Let's begin. Oh, Arveline's castle, eh? Oh, is this like missing I'm the mark before it was cool? Make it to my humble abode. Now, oh. let's get down to business. Give me all of your magic, and in return, maybe I'll spare one of you. Yeah, that's definitely not gonna happen, Opheline. You should be lucky that they let you off the hook easily in missing the mark. We'll oh, give you one more chance to stand down, Opheline. Magic belongs to every pony. Yes, Sunny. Oh, please. You're starting to sound like Twilight Sparkle. Ugh, friendship. I hate the past. Ugh. Opaline, you really need to get over Twilight Sparkle. What is it with you and her? She thought she could stop me too, but she merely delayed the inevitable. Didn't yeah, that Alicorn did mirror teach you anything? Oh. How do you know about that? Yeah, because she was well, the one that did it. I made sure it was given to you. Is she Isn't going to that reveal? Right, Misty? Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> The reveal here. Hi. Yeah, she can't do the evil laugh. Hello. Misty. <laughs> of course, she would say do hello. Not Misty. Wave to the enemy. Whoa! That sound effect when Opaline stumped her hoof down. Whoa! That struck me. That that was intense. Yes, Opaline. Misty. Don't your listen friend. to her. Your friend. Mm -hmm. She's the one who led you all to me. Yeah, it was all part of the plan. I suspected there was something off about you, Misty. You were right all along, Why are you Zip? on her side? Yeah. Because I wanted friendship, like, too. Way better. Good, yep, good point there, I've Pip. waited long enough for this. Oh, dear. What's she doing? Hey, the, the amulet. Oh, the eye. Oh, my ah, God. She just drained her of her energy. Power. How exhilarating. Yeah. Don't this describe it like now, that. Now, Opaline. Every pony. Alicorn. Formation. Oh, hell yes. This looks like how Twilight and the Main Six, like, formed the elements of friendship. Elements of harmony past Frolan. God! Oh my god! Oh no, Opaline, you evil bitch! Did, did she just... Oh god, this is dark. She, she's absorbing all the magic into the... Oh, I see. Oh, they're gone. Oh, I love that face of Sunny. Let's go back to that. If I can just pause it. Look at that! That is a menacing look. Oh, imagine if that was in the show. That would have been epic. And, oh, just seeing more of Angry Sunny. I love Angry Sunny more than lovable Sunny because, oh, she, she just looks so ominous when she's so furious. Ah. It's draining you. Oh, poor Pip. She landed face first. Oh, please. Why? Very frazzled. It's no, simple, get back Misty. that orb. Now that I have my magic back, I don't need you anymore. How direct can you be, Opaline? I kind of preferred it in the show than just directly saying it to you, because, like, it was drawn out more and the secret was slowly, like, broken away over time. But if Opaline wants to be so assertive in this, then fair play. <sighs> oh, yeah. That must hurt. Wait, oh, it was a pool. I thought it was just like a mirror thing. Oh, this is awesome. Is he jumping into it? Is Opaline going to seal it? No, no, no. This can't be happening. She drained our magic. Duh. Misty, she... Don't She's worry. going to drown. We're still in this together. 
You, you got a hit. Oh, well, Izzy just teleported out. Poof! Your magic was fool's play. What are you now, gonna do now? Now time to say goodbye, Sunny Star Scout. Is Misty, is Misty gonna jump in front of him now? Oh no! Yeah, Alicorn protection I shield. Can't hold it. Yes, you can. Believe in yourself. You got the hope. Oh, Misty's joining them. Whoa! Oh, exploding it like in the, the ending of the end. Oh, they teleported oh, out uh, safely. Uh, 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 uh. Yeah, but Opaline, you can't be proud of them destroying your castle. Oh my god, she didn't even see like Misty teleporting away with them. Well, I guess she has no need for Misty anymore. So I guess that makes sense. Sweet bright house. Oh, thank god for Misty. She teleported them all out. Misty, how did you? She's you more powerful saved than us. The... Yep. The last minute friendship switch. <laughs> she can't be oh. This mirrors, have you seen this dragon's ending as well? Oh. You've got your new friends with you, Misty. Oh, is that it? Oh no! I I would honestly I'd love to see more of that. That was just amazing. I love that. There may have been some teeny flaws here and there that I didn't really flow with, but on the whole, this was a really engaging animatic. Robin Jacks, you should have been considered for one of these storyboard artists for, for making the mark because damn, I love this. This animatic story was kind of similar to what they did in Missing the Mark, but obviously since this was released way before chapter four, I can see where Missing the Mark could have gotten its inspiration from. I love how they incorporated Misty's necklace from Tell Your Tale because I wish we really could have seen more of that necklace in like future episodes and possibly in the actual show itself because oh damn the vibes that were flowing off of that necklace in each episode that it was featured in it was dark. It got some prominence here in this animatic and oh boy the way it drained the main five's energy and when it led up to Opaline's betrayal by directly saying no I don't need you anymore because I've got all the power now. But oh, imagine if they incorporated Sparky into this story as well. And oh my god, that would have been even more grim. I also love those little additions that they did. Because when Misty was drained of her magic and uh, after Opaline said that she didn't need her anymore, she got flung into that mirror pool. Like, I thought it was just like a surface of something. But I didn't expect it to be like a whole, like, endless pool. Like, oh my god, imagine if that was, like, shown in the show as well. That would have been torturous. And Misty repaying the favor by teleporting them all out before Opaline blasted them to death. Oh, that was cool too. Let's just hope that maybe the Gold Fluffbug patron that requested this will request the next two, but we shall have to see. Robin Jacks, do consider making more of these in the future because, oh boy, your take on G5 is really awesome too. So, Fluffbugs, don't forget to hoof smash that like button down below and subscribe to my channel for more reactions and many more content coming soon. And also, don't forget to leave a pledge on my Patreon page down in the description below so you can help support me in making these fantastic videos more consistently. And I shall see you all very soon. Goodbye! And finally, I want to give a massive thank you to all of my Fluffbud patrons on my Patreon. My silver patrons, Louise Wade, Alex Smith, and Chad. And my gold patrons, Drew Lazinski, Clear Heart Apple, Owen Wildish, Jonathan Chapper, Darth Siler 12, Kiki Bat VA, Kitty Guardian, and the Peyton Growerful Trisky. All of your love and support is greatly appreciated. Thank you.